Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and a very happy Ghostbusters Day 2023 to you all. Today, we're going to be checking out some new-ish kind of Hasbro Ghostbusters Plasma Series figures. And when I say new, I really mean it to say these came out pretty much a year ago, but I most recently completed the collection. So I figured, what better day to check them out? Now, of course, these are reissues, redos of all the Ghostbuster Plasma Series figures, like Peter Vankman, right there, Plasma Series, Ghostbusters logo, but the box is now all slimed, as well are the Ghostbusters. And as you can clearly see, these glow in the dark. So, very interested to see how this ends up going. On the back side, everything's been slimified. It's the exact same box and the layout and everything that you would come to expect. Great artwork, now just in green. As is Egon Spangler, looking every bit as Egon Spangler-y as you'd like him to be. Same thing on the back of the box, a little bit of a write-up. Yada yada. And you have the heart of the outfit, Ray Stans, Stan Aykroyd, looking all good, all slimed up. Very cool. Usually when they have Ghostbuster variants like this, they either go slime or they go Marshmallow Man, right? Winston Zeddemore, no exception. Very cool, bringing up the four Ghostbusters. And I'm very happy to check these out. Finally, right? Now, just before we get started, I did pick up a few of these off Entertainment Earth. I'll have links down in the description below. My links, if the items are in stock, will give you 10% off. And if you spend over 59 bucks, you'll get free shippings to boot. Any questions, always happy to help. But in either case, this is going to be an absolute Neutrona blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a new-ish look at some of the brand new-ish Ghostbusters Plasma Glow-in-the-Dark Slimed Ghostbusters by Hasbro. And while I got all you ghouls and ghosts here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already and you seem to be floating around the Sedgwick Hotel, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Heck, you can even haunt the place, right? Make it all extra creepy and cool for Ghostbusters Day 2023. There's Peter. Let's go ahead and slime him. Now, here is everything out of the boxes. And like I said before, it's the exact same figures. Now they glow in the dark. Now they have a slime deco to them. And they are pretty cool. If they had to do a variant like this, Glow in the dark is the way to go. That's actually very Kenner of them, but it's the exact same figures. And I'm gonna tell you honestly, when these first came out, the price didn't really set well with me, right? Glow in the dark, same figures, less accessories. None of them come with any accessories, but you got the Neutrona one and you got the backpack and you got all the usual flair that you would like with your Ghostbusters, right? So they haven't changed that but I'm going to tell you the price was a big deterrent from immediately grabbing these since we just got about two waves of the Ghostbuster Plasma figures, right? So I waited a little bit and I got these for pretty much discounted prices across the board. In fact, if you looked at uh, certain online stores, yeah, you could definitely grab them at a much lower price. Now, in terms of race stance, I had a little problems with the Proton Pack itself, kind of hooking the Neutrona wand. It just consistently falls off. So you might run into the same problem, you might not. All of the Proton Packs are different for the individual four. You'll know it by looking at the little red dot that appears on the back right there. So depending on if you're that crazy, you can match it up with the appropriate Ghostbuster. Also, I was uh, able to actually put the Proton Pack all the way on this version of Ray Stance. The other Plasma series, the original one, I was not able to do that. Same exact articulation, save movement, Everything that you would pretty much want to allow your Ghostbusters to hold the Neutrona wand to blast ghosts. There it goes. Falls right off again. God, that is infuriating. But Egon Spangler getting ready to throw that old wand out. Very cool. Nice to have Egon in kind of thinking about Ghostbusters 3 and not really liking what they did with the Egon character, to be quite honest with you. In terms of how it kind of played out, you know what I mean? Dead be dead. It, 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 it sit right with me for old Egon. Classic Ghostbusters 1 and 2, and of course, real Ghostbusters. That's the way to go. But like the other two Ghostbusters we've already checked out, 
he is equally as slimed. And then you have Peter, the mouth of the Ghostbusters, looking very cool. He's got slime everywhere. Peter, being the slimed one, makes the most sense out of all four Ghostbusters, being that Slimer slimed him in the Sedgwick Hotel in the first. Now, you can go into Mood Slime and everything else in Ghostbusters 2 and whatever else cartoon. You get the idea. But, yes, Peter makes the most sense. Also, the slime really does stop on the front of these Ghostbusters and then on the actual proton pack itself. Now, one thing, though, is that these new slimed ones are better matching in the color of the jumpsuit. The original Plasma series was a little bit too bright white. These are more of the Ghostbusters flight suit colors. And like I said, yes, the slime stops on the back, unfortunately. But if you have the proton pack on, if you're doing the whole Neutrona Blast, really doesn't matter. Although, for again, the price that you were originally supposed to pay for these, it would have been nice to put a little slime on it. Maybe you can come with a little canister of slime, but you see the difference. Flight suit color, slime, and then the initial Neutrona Blast is now glow-in-the-dark and green as opposed to the original colors of blue with a little orange beam. So, nice little differentiation there. And the best part about these is that if you've collected all the other Plasma series or if you've kind of delved into the old Kenner Ghosts or even Diamond Select and what they have to offer for Ghostbusters, you can really fudge it all in there. It literally does look good with everything Ghostbusters-wise. Some will fit better than others, of course, but at least you know you can definitely bust a Gozer and a Terror Dog or two. Now, the big moment we've all been waiting for. I put these up to the light for an exorbitant amount of time, so I'm really hoping we get a nice bright glow. So let's flip the lights off. One, two, three, boom. <laughs> Yes, they do actually glow fairly well. I will tell you this. They're a little bit light in the glow, but in hand, they glow much better. You can actually see it with the naked eye as opposed to it picking it up on camera. So at least I can tell you that it's not super, super bright, but it does definitely do the trick of a glow-in-the-dark set of Ghostbusters. And like I said, very Kenner of them. And I definitely dig these. They didn't really improve upon the actual figures themselves. Everything else is the same. But I tell you what, you put a little glow-in-the-dark action on some Ghostbusters, you definitely have my attention. Definitely pick these up if you can get them at the more clearance discount price. They're definitely worth it. And at this point, why not? No sense in paying full price. So I want to wish you all a very happy Ghostbusters Day 2023. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching all my vids, especially those on Ghostbusters. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostbusters. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? This is right around the time when I should have Slimer. There he is, zooming all around. Ghostbusters. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.